says you're live. Awesome. Screen's blank, though. I don't hear anything yet, either. Oh, that's odd. The whole page just refreshed. Okay, there you go. Now you're up and running. Cool. guest with me, one of the puppers. And there is the Ronin. All right, Do you want into the call, Ronin? Yeah, we know you said you wanted to at one point, man. Yeah, I messaged you and said, if you want in, just let me know. Yep, he says, yep, All let right, him in. I'll pull him in before we actually switch over to Bloodstream. There we go. Cool. Hello. Hello. Yep. Uh, not much. We're actually going to be starting the game here in just half a moment. Uh, just want to make sure we got everything settled up. So, hello, everybody. We're actually streaming on a Tuesday for once. On a hello, Net. Hey, welcome back, Net. Good to see you again, man. What's up? Really? Hey, that's, that's what he said. I know, I know. Anyway, so... For those of you here, uh, we got a full room tonight. We got myself, we've got the Kitty Cross. Hello! We got the Ronin. Hello! And we got Jacob, who I'm not sure if he's still here or not. Hello, everybody! <laughs> so we're going to be going back to playing some uh, Bloodstain tonight. And I think we're all set up here. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Also, net, ba net bases. What's up? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Yes, we are. So, That's why we're crazy. just to show off where we were last time, I'm level 28, and I've already completed half the game in terms of map completion. Nice. Played for about eight hours so far. I'm also going to be going a little wonky here in terms of controls to start off with, because... It's been about, what, a week, two weeks since I've played Bloodstained? It's been a hot minute. Just trying to remember all my different things. Oh, yeah, I remember I gave myself pigtails. Just for the ultimate kawaii. I wonder if I can get, like, pointers from where I was. She she does kind of look like that, Akon. Hello. What oh, yeah, I forgot you changed her skin color. Yeah. What are you looking to buy? It's a very, very fun game, Net. Um, if you know what Castlevania is, this game was made by... Um, it was made by Iga, basically the same guy who was in charge of most of like the really well-known Castlevania oh. games, like Castlevania, um, R.E.S.R.O. as Thank well you. as, uh, what's like the most popular one that I always forget because I've never played it? <laughs> also, ignore the barking dogs from, uh, Kitty's side. I'm sorry, they're in, on the bed with me and they decided to start playing with each other. <laughs> Yeah, and the, what was the other Castlevania, the one that actually had Alucard first in it? Uh, wasn't that Aria of Sorrow? No. Oh, no, no, um, oh gosh, uh, Symphony of the Night, I think, was... Thank you. Yeah, Symphony of the Night is the one that, um, was also from the same creator. So, yeah, basically what happened is that after he saw what, um... What uh the what the company that owns Castlevania was doing with it and Metal Gear and all that other stuff, he basically went and kickstarted this game. Stop! No! 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 That sounds familiar. 
Ooh, you grew up with Castlevania 3 net? Oof, my son nice. condolences. Now, the one that first came out and became majorly big on the NES, was that one or two? I think um, that was one, but two was also on the NES. You know, with the song that we all remember, that da 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 Yeah, Vampire that one. Killer. That was, that was the first, uh, that was the first Castlevania. So it was the very first one. Yes. Okay. Number that, two gave us bloody tears. Is that a cat? With horns and wings? Yeah, so, yes. yeah, because this game was kickstarted, one of the kickstarted things was that you can go and have your pet be in the game. That is someone's pet that got added into a game as a monster. Another one that they have in there is basically the disembodied head of a dog attached to a chain. Bas basically a chain chomp, but it's actually a dog. I don't know how to feel about this. Well, hey, look at look at Link's Awakening. They had a chain jump. They thought it was a dog. Mm. There are bounce. Uh, I'm not saying you can't love that game, man. I'm just saying that's a hard Castlevania to be your the main one and the first one that you enjoy. I should know. That's like one of the few Castlevanias I could never finish. But then again, I've always preferred the um, the RPG Castlevania games over any of the other ones, so... Which one would you actually distinguish as an RPG Castlevania game? So, basically, any RPG Castlevania game is a Castlevania game where you can level up and whatnot. It's basically like this one. Uh, okay. Pretty much a, Metroid, a Metroidvania with role-playing elements. Yeah. Okay, or at least elements that people would associate with role-playing. Although you're not necessarily leveling up your character in some of the other games as so much as you're leveling up the abilities you gain, like in Aria of Sorrow with oh, the spirits. We just have non-stop dogs tonight, don't we? Bork, bork, Sophie! Well, I got cats. I cannot wait to move to a different place where she is up above me and nowhere near me. You and me both. He's being a good wolf. She's being a good wolfer by not stopping. Uh, nah, my, my dog's being nice and quiet here with me. Oh, lucky you! I have cats. Anyway, so from what I've also found out, um, I got I looked this up a bit a while ago. Apparently, the flat-out best summon to have in the game, uh, best familiar. Is actually the uh. Dull, I'm gonna mute myself for a minute, guys. Sorry. What will the dollar hammer head do? Uh, basically, it summons a bunch of like little floating heads that will work around you. The reason why they're considered to be so good is because the higher level they ha are by you having more of them, uh, they'll actually go and summon more heads. So if you get a bunch of those heads, you have like a non-stop army surrounding you. Especially since all the other, um, all the other summons, they basically, their, their major issue is that their attack patterns are so slow. Yeah. Ah. Damn, look at how smooth these guys fly around. You yeah, know, Metroidvanias aren't for everyone, uh, Net. I can understand some people not being into it at all. For me, I grew up playing mostly role-playing games, so I love any game that has me gain experience and level up and the like. So that's just kind of the stuff I prefer. Also, to answer your earlier question, Xavier, since we were kind of distracted by a bunch of barking dogs and other things, um, if I were to have any weapon from Castlevania ever, um, 
I honestly would have that uh, freaking yeah. chain sword that we had earlier. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Eggs. Oh, I forgot some of these enemies you can ride on like that. Mm-hmm. Giddy up, boy. Yeah. Oh. guy knocked me right into the wall. guy kicked me right up out of there. That's the horse of a different color. Hey, Net, I'll tell you right now, man. When it comes to things that you enjoy, my personal opinion of the matter is, is that you can enjoy something as long as you are willing to admit when it's bad. It's like one of my favorite movies of all time is the Super Mario Brothers movie, but I will also be the first to tell you right up front, that is a bad, bad movie. Yup. I already need to go back to heal, because at this rate I am going to die otherwise. I'm a big fan of the Shenmue games, but I will say they have aged horribly. Oh, I got a cake recipe thingy. He's a cake. Uh, trying to get something to heal. Probably just avoid enemies and run to a healing thing. Yeah. Or I could just die. You know, that, work, that works too. Alright, now I think I need to actually start paying attention here. Alrighty then. So first things first. Let us do shards. Let us go back to Dolahan's. Let's see. Let's do Death Cry for our Conjure. I shall return momentarily. I am going to get nibbles. No worries, man. I have got to wait for my food. I can buy back shop. What are you looking to buy? All right, let us actually get some healing goods, because actually having right? those then we have a deal. Hey, Sky, how you doing, hon? Uh oh, Sky's a fury. <laughs> what are you buying? What are you selling? I will I will admit that that's one of my major weaknesses with games like that. Uh, no worries, trust me, that's how I play a lot of games. But I will go and have uh, them in the background. Well, I, I will play something else.
Xavier, I'm gonna be a cheap ass and basically say to that, Gunblade. Yes, I know it's not exactly the actual, like, decent weapon, but I'm sorry. I actually enjoyed Final Fantasy VIII. Alright, let's try going the other way since that was just chests. Ow! Why you! Ow! Why you! Ow! Why you! Ow! Like, I enjoy Final Fantasy VIII, but it, like I said, Final Fantasy VIII is in that same realm as, uh, is in that same realm as the Super Mario Brothers movie. It is a bad game, and I'll be the first to admit it as much, but it's one of my favorite bad games. Alright, this is way the final boss. I don't want to do this just yet. Ow! 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 Which Ow! gun blade? Ow! 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 Of course, I'm gonna go for squalls. Ow! Ow! Unless you're talking about like what, like Ow! version? In that case, I'll go for freaking um, freaking uh, the final one. Which I believe is called Lionheart. Because I know the first. Because I know the first one is called like Revolver or something like that. Yeah, they're saying it's called Lionheart. Cool. You. Ah. Yeah, right now I'm just gonna be exploring because I don't remember where exactly we were, so I'm gonna be a little lost here for a bit. I am back. I have chicken. Ooh, chicken. Well, this looks like a good way to go, as any. I think no matter what, I'm going to be in the clock tower for a little while. Watch out for the kid with the scissors. I'll be entirely honest, when it comes to the clock tower series, I have actually only played the third one. I haven't played any of them, I just know what they're about. Huh. Ah, damn, I was... I was hoping this would work. Huh. Nah, not gonna work. Boo. The creepy grandpa one? What? Which clock tower is the creepy grandpa Ow. one? I don't know. That's what Akun just said. I know. I'm fast Akun. Yeah, clock tower three. That's the one I'm most familiar with, Akun. Hey, Toy. Oh, wait, what? Did I just get a throwing axe weapon? Maybe. See, I've got the harp. The bloodbringer. Does not look like it. Okay, I'm, gonna I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna guess that's actually a thing to upgrade the throwing axe uh, soul I have. Probably. Yes, Akun, that's the that's the uh, clock tower I'm from. If if it makes sense to you, uh, Akun, that's the one where I got the rooter from. Idea where 
to go. Yeah, I'm gonna say something a little crazy and a little controversial, but I just want you to hear me out. Hmm. I say we take Toy Hunter and we trade them so they can finally evolve into it's Toy Gengar. Toy Gengar. Ah! Actually, I'm curious. Does the archives tell me where I've been currently? Personal data, compendium. Not really. So I guess in this case, let's just explore where I haven't gone to yet. Is Kitty still muted? Ow, I do. Yeah, I heard a, I heard a fur out of her. Oh, that's what you're talking about, Akun. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the final boss of Clock Tower 3 um, is the grandparent of uh, the main character. Key of Celeste for that. with the fact that my little Dolan heads can actually kill the other ones like this it actually might be best to just like sit here and grind that for a while not figured out how to do this puzzle. No way, do not that. Basically, you have to supposed to get this guy over here that I'm standing on right now and get it over here onto the opposite side, but I have no clue how you're supposed to do that. Actually. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do that. I am a freaking idiot. Wait, what? Did I? Oh, so that's how you upgrade the frickin' uh, Silver Knight. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I get it now. Where do I want to go? Not death. Death is bad. I can't go in there. Oh, 
I'm back finally. Welcome back. Welcome back. I had to feed the cat and I had to do all the laundry, so well finish up the laundry, so. Mm. But now door's closed. I am the only one in here, so that's the way it's gonna stay. Yay! 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 Yeah, so that you know that secret I couldn't figure out originally? Mm -hmm. The one with the dragon and I had to get the uh to get the uh the the bookcase across the gap. I just mm -hmm. had to grab the damn thing. Grab it how? With my grabbing power, big hand. Ah. Uh. Pick me's hand! Oh crap, that's a minute. So you were able to do it, you just needed a hand. <laughs> yeah, right you now. opened the door for me, honey. Yeah, no, right yep, now I'm just. Uh -uh, yeah. Right now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do in the game because I legitimately forget where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, he's back, back again. If I had to guess, I have to go to the clock tower, but I am in the wrong area for that. Oh, I forgot, that's a fake chair. Excuse me. The critical. I love how I can kill dragons with such ease now. Good lord, Net, not you too. Yeah, kill him quick so the fight isn't dragging on. Poor guys. I love that that has become the thing for my streams. Is the fact that y'all just keep on making puns until I see how long I can just handle it. Or in this case, just scream bloody murder. Bloody murder! Bloody murder! Fucking hell. I got a strawberry. Is that something I can, like, make with? Yes, I can. No, Ned, don't worry about it. Honestly, I more react like a way for just because, you know, I get it all the time. I honestly am not that bad bad with buns. Wait, how the hell are you supposed to get up there? I guess you're supposed to come in from the other way. And I'm back again. Welcome back, love. Welcome back again. Sorry for the constant coming and going. Just gotta need the family, life. huh? Mm hmm Right now, I'm just kind of completely and totally lost. What areas of the castle have you not been to yet? Uh, 
There is a, uh... There is a, uh, clock tower-like area I have not been into. I guess I'll I thought you had, you had been in the clock tower. I've been in a, a tower tower, not the <laughs> clock tower. Well, I remember it being lots of gears and everything like a clock tower. Well, how about we go there for now? Let me get back to the uh, teleporter thing. If I don't die, which I just very well might. Okay, first things first, let us heal, because otherwise I am a dead man. <coughs> There we go. Healing up. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back to the teleporter, because that seems to be the best bet right now. I think Xavier wants a burger. What was that? I said, I think Xavier wants a burger. Why? He says, He's hey, talking about the game now. No, Xavier's just lewd. Uh huh. Ow! By you! Ow! By you! He's both, actually. <laughs> At least he admits it! I love that little sylph character you get as a, a minion. Oh, you mean, uh, hang on, let the me fairy. Sw switch over her. Carabos. Yeah. I love the fact that she sings with you on, uh, freaking. That was, yeah, that was such a neat little Easter egg. There's a reason why I almost go back to it once a stream to do it, just because I love it that much. Mm hmm. All right, so let's see. So we've got the underground sorcery lab, which by the looks of what we've cleared most of that. We've got the twin towers, which we've worked through most of that. We've got the machina places, which where we've been stuck in. Mm-hmm. We've got the cathedral, which looks like it does have a few areas we can explore. We also have the hall of termination, which we or else it's stuck and we can't get any further there by the looks of it. Well, I notice there's a few places where it leads into being able to go into another room, but it doesn't. Yeah. It goes, what, you can't go up from there? Can't go up from where? The hall termination? Uh, no. Dan Keck Cathedral. Yeah, we can go. That's where I died last time, though, but we'll try again. Hey. How the hell do you even pronounce that? What? I'm rusty in my Gaelic. How's it? Well, how's it spelled? Dan. Take this. See. Hey. I can't even remember. I'm not gonna catch every pun toy. I caught him, toy. Uh, although anytime anybody mentions the term or phrase clock tower, my mind immediately defaults to the video game series. Yeah, we were actually yeah. talking about that earlier. Yeah, we were the talk first time I ever played the first game, which was emulated uh, on a uh, well, on an emulator, of course, duh. Uh, emulated on an emulator. Anyways, yes, redundancy is d redundant. Um, but when I first came across it, it was in Japanese, I managed to find a translation uh, mod for it and played through it. And for being an SNES game, it is surprisingly horrifying. Good, I like the atmosphere. Yes. Sorry, Creep the atmosphere heck out of me. Okay, so we can't go any further in here simply because the cathedral itself is too tall. The walls in the cathedral are too really tall. Really hot! 
for sure. Fucking <laughs> Tiny Toons reference out of everything. Really? Oh, I mean, you know, it's Tiny Toons. <laughs> We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony, and in this cartoony, we're invading you. You're in big, we're invading your big, big stream. Take this! <sighs> Good lord. Y'all, y'all just tire me. You should be <laughs> used to this by now. I know, right? <laughs> What the hell? Um. Wait, what? My quintal. Oh! <laughs> I've got a freaking baseball bat. Oh no, that's even better than a baseball bat. That's an Aztec weapon. Really? Yeah. It's got blades made of a city and lining both sides. Wow. It can literally and has been shown to take the head off a horse. Hell's no. Yikes. Alright. That so is frightening. You. So last time thank I went up, I died. Word. We'll just have to be careful going up here. So it's... Uh, what, did they, what did they call it? Uh, in the Japanese version of, a, of it would be the Zangato. That uh, giant-ass sword that they say yeah, could cut a, down horses with. Yeah, the Zanbato. Uh, That's what uh, Sonosuke had in Ruroni Kitchen. Yep. Yep, that one. <gasps> Definitely makes killing enemies a little faster, though I'm losing the range I've been having. Oops. Yeah. Just swing away, Prof. Swing away. Swing and a miss. I love how I'm getting these gun capacity upgrades, yet I've yet to use my gun once this entire game. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> nice God reference. damn it, Akun! <laughs> <laughs> That is very much an in-joke for those who aren't familiar with that. Essentially, one time during D&D, &D, I was trying to be, like, very role-play-ish and be, like, my dwarven female character. I'm like, taste dwarven steel! And, and he then, rolled a one. Yeah, I rolled a one. <laughs> Jeez, so sad I missed so. <laughs> <laughs> Also, this is you didn't the fell flat on your face, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, he just missed. Actually, I don't think it was a one, but it was a miss. Also, this is the reason why I like having Carabos as my familiar, because she points out secrets I'd otherwise miss. Because I missed that secret the first time around. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that, Sky. Sky got crushed by a frickin' um, elevator in their Star Wars game. Oof. I find it interesting that you can actually... <laughs> I got better. better! I mean, was that a character death or did they get better? <laughs> I still find it interesting that you can actually angle your weapons in this game. Chest. Ah. Uh. Knew that was coming. Oh, I should hope you see my chest coming. Really, honey? <laughs> this is a Christian stream. <laughs> Not for long. Off. It's after dark. There's money I missed. Oh, 
fucking so many Dolahan heads. How many do I actually have now on my familiar? I've got ooh, wow, I've got six, so that's actually quite a lot. Because once you actually hit maximum on that, it's, I think you have a total of six around you. Would that mean you're ahead of the curve? Really, honey. Well, it doesn't be ahead of the major corporation. There's another HP up. And yes, Akun, yes he did. Hang on, I'm being paged. Come it! I should be right back, folks. None of us are immune to this tonight, apparently. No, we're not. So, while we wait for Prof to come back, questions, anybody? Borderlands 3, I have no opinion on because I have not played any of them. Borderlands 3, right now, there is this weird disconnect. Um, the, the reviewers, instead of getting a copy of the game, were given accounts on uh, the Epic Store to play an unfinished copy of the game. With clear, clear notices that some parts were not yet finished. And yet, some of these reviews are hailing it as awesome. Others are saying the truth. Also, with something that Steam just recently did, my hopes of Borderlands 3 being on Steam anytime soon have gone down to crap. So, there's Why? That. What happened? Steam has now updated their, uh, their, uh, a they've updated a clause for any future games that if any games are to be released on PC, and they plan to release it on Steam, it has to be within 30 days of their initial release date. That means no, no exclusive or no um, delay, exclusive delay. So when they say 30 days, they mean prior as well as after? 30 days of its original, the original uh, release date. Okay, when they say say that, do they mean it can't be uh, put up 30 days before the release date or after the release date? I would have to say after. Okay, pretty much it just sets it up where if Epic takes an exclusivity, it's never going to show up on Steam. All right, any other questions? It's going to end up end up uh, banning games from Steam Action. Because if they don't get within that 30 day period after being on. Uh, <laughs> That's an interesting being on question, Epic Maker. Or any other platform, it will be on Steam. Favorite Metroidvania waifu or husband? -o? Honestly, I don't play many of them, so I couldn't tell you. Samus. Samus Best Metroidvania waifu. I actually haven't played a ton in that particular genre, so I don't really know if I could say I really have one. I mean, I kind of like the guy from Aria of Sorrow, what was his name, Soma? I think. He basically had this... Go ahead. You were talking to well, I was just saying, Soma was this character, it was like, must be like in 1999 or something that the game takes place, and he had like this big fluffy coat thing going on, but I thought he was a pretty cool character. And I am officially back now. Welcome back, Welcome honey. Back.
So yeah, um, I have, uh, Carl's Jr. now. <laughs> that was the reason they were calling me. Ah. Uh. Well, here's a question for you, honey, because, uh, A couldn't pitch this one. Favorite Metroidvania waifu or husband -o? Oh my gosh. I don't know all the Metroidvanias to say that. But I believe Ronan, you said Samus, right? Nope. Alright, somebody else said Samus, okay. Oh, I did, I saw it in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're referring to the games in that sense, uh, Ronan, because Saif is just strictly from the... The, the Netflix series. No, she was from the, uh, she was from, uh, the second Castlevania. Really? Yep. Yes, you are. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I know, oh, Aiken says she was in Castlevania 3. Yeah, Castlevania 3 is the one where we, where we got Trevor, Sypha, and, uh... What is his name? Is well, I could do a total cop-out and say I'm totally for Alucard, too. <laughs> yeah, Grant, Grant the Nasty of Dynasty, who they sort of cut out of the uh, Netflix series and gave a lot of his traits to Trevor. By the way, one more bit. I am excited for uh, going back to Borderlands 3. I am excited for Borderlands 3. Unfortunately, I will be relegated to watching gameplay of it. I won't be able to play it for a while. You know, I, I, I do remember that there was this one Metroidvania I played. Uh, I either I can't remember if I actually played it or if I was watching a Let's Play of it some time ago, and I cannot, for the life of me, remember what the name of the game was. But it starred this one character who was. He and his, I think, girlfriend were s somehow stumbled upon this secret government facility and she got captured and he had to rescue her and it entailed him collecting this, like, really high-powered armor in order to be able to get through the place. I cannot remember the name of the game for the life of me. That does not sound familiar to me at all. Doom. Wait, Doom? No, it wasn't Doom. <laughs> no, not Ghosts and Goblins. I'm on a never ending quest to save my girlfriend! Three episodes later. I'm on a never ending quest to save my boyfriend! <laughs> Listen, what? Xander. But no, it was like, it was a really, it was, it was made like within the last ten years or so. Possibly the last five. And it was, it was, uh, like a 2D type of perspective, but it was 3D rendered. It's like you could really see the depth of the facility as you were going through the place, but it was very, very two d two dimensional view, uh, you know, hor horizontal view of everything going on. Oh, it's it's eating at me. I can't remember what the name of it is. I'm, I've got to look this up now. I wish you luck on that, hon. Oh, congrats, Sky. Wait, is that is that out already? I thought it was not due for another week. Preloading it. I need. A oh, it's out for pre. Oh, okay. I still need to actually play the first uh, two games. I have not touched those games. Before. Shadow Complex was the name of the game. Ah, I've heard of that game. Never played it. Came out in 2009. People are going to be. If it's already playable for people, there's going to be people streaming it. There's no ch chance people are going to be missing freaking Borderlands 3. I mean, yeah, you know, kind of. Yeah, that's the biggest issue, though, is if there are some people that are streaming it, they're going to risk the um, 2K games people and their lawyers coming down on them. Yeah. Uh, especially after that one YouTuber. I mean, part of the reason why they went the route they did is they were claiming security reasons. And they even, even then, with the reviewers that they did, they did a very select few. Yeah. 
It may not have stopped people before Ashen, but it can still happen. Yeah, no, that's just right, though. The real issue is that it's against Twitch's terms of service. You cannot stream a game that you're not le legally allowed to stream. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, Shadow Complex, the game that I was referring to, it was on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. And, uh... Like I said, it came out in 2009. The main character was Jason Fleming and his girlfriend Claire. They were exploring some caverns, came across this secret facility. She got captured. He had to try to rescue her. There's a bunch of games I've got that are Metroidvania, so I just haven't played through them yet. Dust and Elysian Tales is a good Metroidvania. Oh yeah, Dust and Elysian Tales is a really good Metroidvania. Up there with one of the best. Mm. <laughs> Especially when you consider it was made by a, like a group of like three people, not counting the voice actors. Yeah. Took the guy like I think five years to put the game together. Something like that. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get started back up here again in a moment, folks. Just chowing down real fast on my culture. No worries, honey. I will say, though, one of my favorite characters, um, just from a design standpoint, from a Metroidvania, definitely would have to go towards the uh, main character from Hollow Knight. Never played it. It's a very, very fun Metroidvania, but very, very difficult. I forget, have you ever played that one on stream or anything before? Yes, I have. You fell asleep during it last time. <laughs> I'm sorry! Hun, you have a really bad habit of falling asleep to everything. I'm sorry. Sometimes it just hits me, and when I get relaxed, I can't help it. I just conk out. Trust me, I know. We were watching Linkara's videos not too long ago, and, you know, it's like, hey, let's enjoy some Linkara. It's like halfway through the episode, I hear. Oh. Thank you for sharing that. Meh. <laughs> Oh, You're one... just as bad. Yeah, I know, hon. But, uh, speaking of which, though, that reminds me. Have you actually talked to the doctor about that? No, not yet. Right, they'll try to start reminding you a bit more often. But, uh, I know, honey. I've been trying to get around to sending up a point with a new physician, but there's just been a lot of shit going on. Oh, oh. <laughs> But I honestly think it's gonna help you sleep better. Mm, okay. Wow. Ah, that was a good burger. What did you have? I had just the generic double patty burger from Girls Jr. Mm. My family actually rarely goes there because my aunt says that they kind of like uh, support anti gay stuff, so. In respect, we usually don't go there at all it's just to support. Wait, they, they support what? Anti gay things. Oh, pfft. I don't know how true that is, but that's what she said. Anyway, uh, with a full tummy. Uh, Carl's Jr. Sky. Yeah, Chick-fil-A was the one that had the whole debacle about the guy who runs it apparently being homophobic or something like that. But oh, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear a thing about that regarding Carl's Jr. until now. That's what I was told from my aunt who is she is a homosexual. Mm -hmm. And she basically said that's why she never goes to Carl's Jr. is because they have p paid for, like, prep wiles and whatnot to go against that. I don't know how legit that is, because, honestly, I don't care enough about the company to go looking into it, but that's what she took said. Mm. Anyway, let's get back to actually playing a game. Yes, let's. Yeah, me neither. I only brought it, I only brought it up because that's 
I usually don't eat there at all, so. do this. Oh, did Ronan fall out of the chat again? Evidently. Hang on, I'll fix it. Yeah, I don't know why he has such a problem with his connection. There we go. There we go. Is Welcome the Ronan back. of Dark Spec? Yes, he is. There we go. I have no idea why that happened. I just noticed that ribbon your character's wearing. It looks like a butterfly or like a stained glass motif on it. Yeah. Well, she does have a lot of stained glass like in her body as shards. Yeah, it's reminiscent of butterfly wings. Mm -hmm. Well, if I recall correctly of the game, she's got something of a uh, crystalline curse. And the more she absorbs, the more she uses, the more those markings will grow. Yeah. Basi basically, the whole the whole idea behind her and the other character in this game is the fact that they're basically called what was it like the crystal bound or something like that? Mm -hmm. Shard bound. Shard bound. Thank you. And essentially, that is their their body were were designed from the bottom up to absorb the demon demonic spirits. Well, not necessarily bottom up, because I remember from the story in the beginning that they had volunteers who took on the augmentation of their bodies so that they could do so. But then after they were augmented, there was some kind of ritual that they did in order to kill them off in order to gain greater power or some shit. Yeah. And I don't th know if Miranda and Jable uh, volunteered so much as they were kids. Um, game? Am I not supposed to be here right now? Oh, is a boss door? Yeah, it looks like a boss door, but nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. I need more blood. Oh, dear. Blood steel. Thank you for covering her up, game. <laughs> I didn't want to have to quickly get off the game because of that. So I'm curious now. Uh, yes to her design, all the yes. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. My current blood setting is blue. If I change it to a different color, does her outfit change? That's probably why, yes. Yes, it does! Ha <laughs> ha! Scarlet Blast. Take this! Scarlet yeah, because she's probably like supposed to be like in a tub of blood. Yes. I've seen, uh. Because I put her into rather... a white outfit now. Scarlet Blast. Scarlet Blast. To be fair, this is, I think, what we were supposed to go to Scarlet next, Rust. because I, I remember something about uh, a uh, vampire lady with 
with a uh, control over uh, being over the fact that she was in a tub of blood makes me think she's supposed to be a take on Camilla she or Carmilla. Is. So, uh, inventory. I don't know. That's how uh, Elizabeth shows up in the second uh, Ninja Gaiden game. All right, should we switch over her to a different outfit real fast in terms of color, or just keep her white? That is up to you, honey. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go black. Get that real gossip Lolita look. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Got it. Twice. So basically, one thing I've definitely seen so far from her fight is I gotta stay behind there. Eat my chocolate cake because I am super low on health. Take this, blood steel. Oh, are you kidding me? Mm. Is she just healed up and killed me? Oh, at last, sustenance. All right. All right, guys. What color do we want her to be for this cutscene? Red, black, Stay away from blue, white. green, purple, or white. Stay away from white. You don't want her to look. <laughs> you don't want her to be all dressed up in white. No, no do it. Do, do the traditional red for the cutscene, honey. Oh, all right. All right. Um, I am gonna go switch over to different weapons though, because she very much looks like the kind of thing you want to fight at range. Wow, is this what my actually strongest weapon? The hell's bells. All right, where's the weapon that? Yeah, okay, cool. That's what I wanted. All right, I'm also gonna switch off Carabos because we need the double hand heads. Now, do the dull hand heads basically ask, act as a barrier? Not really. They're more just like... They're more just like summonable enemies that will continue to strike from all around. Alright. Arise, myself and my shadow! I need more They're blood. his drones. Bloodsteel. <laughs> I'm still impressed they made it so that her color changes with the actual blood. Mm-hmm. Scarlet Psycho. Psycho. Yeah, so from what I'm seeing so far, I definitely gotta stay behind her like as much as physically possible. Arise, myself and my shadow. Yeah. Scarlet thrust. Scarlet thrust. Scarlet thrust. She's so like prim and proper otherwise. Scarlet Psycho. Arise myself and my shadow. Huh. Huh. Arise myself and my shadow. Oh, no. I made that joke Scarlet. already, Aiken. Did you also happen to notice that her dress is getting shorter? Wait, really? 
Oh, hell's bells! You weren't kidding! Got it, yes. As the fight goes on, there's less and less of her dress. Interesting. And I died again. Last. It makes me think Sustance. her blood is, uh... Her blood is what's making the clothing, so the more she uses to attack you, the less she has to, uh, cover herself. It's possible. Curious guy, how'd you cheese this fight? Is this the best armor I've got? Yeah, yeah, it is. I just want to sacrifice it for uh, something else. Use the shield summon to block out the cyclone. Shield summon. Oh, hang on. I think I have that. I thought I had it. God damn or is it God. something different? Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. It's a directional one, so hang on. Yeah, direct, directed shield. Okay. <laughs> Go back to the dull hammer heads. Equipment we want. We want flying edge. Let's go ahead and save that so we don't have to set this up again. And this time around, I want to see her cutscene in the white. <clears throat> of course you do. Meh. A girl sitting in a tub of Elmer's glue. Sure, that's what it is. Hey, last time someone got yelled at for it, a it actually looks better scene. in the actual cutscene. I'll, I'll give it that. Blood steel. Actually, it looks more like water. I oh, think, it's blood. I, I think they didn't want to go that far. I think that's the thing. You know what it looks like wow. they did? As far as her coloring change? It looks like she was uh, initially- they initially had her sprite white, but they just have a color filter added to her for whatever color you choose the blood to be. Yeah. Also, did you guys see that block with the shield? Yup. Oh yeah. Of course now you gotta wait for your mana to respawn. Or use whatever uh healing items you have to hope to go back to it. Scarlet Quest. Scarlet Psycho. I apologize, we've got other friends stuck in my head right now. I did finally watch the Steam Universe movie. What did you think of it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's good! I liked it! It's a good movie! Yeah. 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 And the heal. And the heal. Yeah. Scarlet Blast. Yep. Dress with the shirt. Scarlet Psycho. Yeah. No. Blood Seal. Heal again, honey. Yeah, oh shit, she healed up because her dress is back. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw that too. Stun it, Tell you what, we'll talk oh. more about the movie after we finish this fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's she! Scarlet Rest! Scarlet Rest! Good lord! Blood everywhere! Hey, yo! Good lord, how am I supposed to fight this? <laughs> We get it. Let's see, is there a teleporter near here? No. <laughs> I don't remember seeing a teleporter near here. Yeah, because I'm not wanting to go all that way over back. I guess we just gotta go and uh, slam our face into it for a bit, huh? Alright, let's change the color to purple. And I guess... I was having more luck with her when I was fighting her, like, straight to face, so... Oh, you're taking taking the bat to her face, huh? Yeah. Oh, city lobotomy. Actually, hang on. I'm not gonna need that here. <laughs> Those Doolahan heads look like fish. Fish heads. Fish heads. Oh, 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 oh. All right, once more with feeling. I need more blood. <laughs> it's blood steel. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely blood. We know it's blood, man. Actually, hang on. Yeah, I'm convinced it's a color filter that they add. It's still pretty cool. Yeah. Her name is Bloodless, yeah? I want to see, because I've hit her once. Does that automatically put her into my demon inventory? No, it does not. Yeah, I think you have to defeat her. Damn. I was hoping it would give me the information on her so I would know what she's weak to. Yeah, no, she's not in here. Scarlet Psycho. Scarlet West. Scarlet West. I wish there was a way to get rid of the Scarlet stuff she Plus. shoots on the walls and the ceiling so she can't heal herself uh. afterwards. There probably is, I just haven't figured it out yet. Because she's basically sucking it up again afterwards to heal. Scarlet Psycho. Okay, progress is not a health bar. At least not in the conventional sense. Okay, but she's not healing herself when she's pulling the blood and stress back all the time. What's she doing? She's just pulling it all back to her. That's it. Scarlet Dust. Oh, I should get like those green 100s over there. Scarlet Psycho. 
Try it again. I notice I need to kind of do that. And my Dolohan heads don't, aren't doing that much damage to her, so... Otherwise, from what I'm reading here, Shards. no weaknesses. Yeah, Karabos, you're the highest level here. <laughs> but, you might um, have to grind for a bit, honey. Yeah, I'll give her one more shot, and if that's the case, I, I'll do just that. I mean, that's all I'm seeing so far, trying to check the wiki, dude. Of course, the wiki is not exactly the most up-to-date. Yeah. I don't know, Toy. I'm not sure if it, there's an uh, item like that in this game. Oh, here we go. Bloodless is weak to slash, thrust, and light. Uh-huh, and I had a blunt weapon, so that wasn't helping. Mm-hmm. All right, green or blue for this? Let's go for green. green. She's bathing in Nickelodeon slime. Ha! Ah! Yup. I need more blood. She must have said, I don't know. <laughs> oh god, it does look like Nickelodeon slime. In Gak, Ash insists. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> I forgot about Gak. What was the big selling point of Gak? I can put it back in his case. It's <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Seriously, you, you had Gak and you like tried to stick it back in, the air would like press out between the case and the Gak itself and make a fart noise. Oh, yeah. And that's why kids loved it. Cause, you know, kids. <laughs> I made the goose fart. That's all you need to entertain kids. Exactly, Xavier! Just... <laughs> And of course, if you get that little silent, Scarlet Thrust. you feel like you fell and you just go. Looks like Slimer went to town. <laughs> we're keeping so you green. Funky. Please tell me we're keeping you green, Rob. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm not talking that much about <laughs> trying to kill her. Mm -hmm. I understand. We're we're messing with you a little bit. He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? Scarlet Thrust. Take this! Scarlet Thrust. Guess next time you won't slime a guy with a Positron Collider, huh? God damn, that is awesome, Kitty. Alright, she's gonna start the whole. I love Ghostbusters okay. so much. I can quote practically every line in that movie. Here it goes. You're right. You're right. Like How am I supposed to stop that? You just keep damaging her while she's healing. Because it says she, it says she is healing because her, or she got 100 points in green keep going up. Oh, I have an idea. Hmm. Scarlet Thrust. I might not be able to do it this time around, but we'll see. You're still doing better this time around than you did your last few sessions. Phil died, but I have an idea. Blood everywhere. Okay, yeah. Um, 
the IGN wiki is suggesting the same, that you unleash your most powerful attacks on her while she is healing to negate the heal. Okay, well, I've got an idea I'm wanting to try out before we give up on her and go to another area. First, go to change it to blue so we can see her blue outfit. But She's blue, uh, da ba like dee da ba da Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah, no, Ashen. Um, I'm at, I'm I'm thoroughly convinced at this point. Um, I need to come back here later or with better weapons. But there's one strategy I'm wanting to test before we give before we head out and like grind a bit. Airbags a little slow. Out of curiosity, Prof, do you have Polonaise cool. armor? The what? what armor? Polonaise. Yes. And the Rava super... Varal? The Rava the Rava? The Rava Varal. Holiday Hoobie Weddy? No, <laughs> I don't know. Or the Heart. This is uh, recommended equipment from IGN. That's <clears> why I'm asking. Nah, not that I'm saying, no. Otherwise, the shards that are recommended are Welcome Company for Conjuration, yeah, Chaser that's... Arrow for Directional. Um, Chaser Arrow, uh, really? Yep. Either Optimizer or Sword Expertise for Passive, and Silver Knight for Familiar. Silver Knight, huh? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's give it a shot. I mean, the I Silver Knight blood. is using a uh, thrusting weapon, so. Blood steel. I think I like her blue color the best. Mm -mm. No, I'm sticking with the slime. <laughs> you like the no! slime? No, no, Sky, no! You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Toy Hunter. I like the purple. It's very gothic. Sky, <laughs> You thought the purple was more gothic than the black? Well, the black just kind of like, uh... What was that one going from, I think, uh, Batman Beyond Ink? Yep, that's the one you're thinking of. Oh, I can yeah, see why they suggest the, the thing now. Yeah, it's light damage, and they seek her out. Yeah, she looks very much like Ink in her, in her black. The purple had a very good contrast to it to me. Scarlet Psycho. Hey, you're doing some decent damage here, man. I'm gonna actually switch back to the uh, directional shield for my strategy that I'm wanting to try out, though. Go for it. Scrumptious. No. No. Blood steel. Arise myself and my shadow. Blood. Nope. Thrust. All right. So basically, to show you, tell you guys what I was planning that it didn't pan out. When she was doing her blood steel, what I was wanting to do was I was gonna see if my shield could block her um, absorbing the blood back. Uh, yeah, I had, I had serious doubts that was gonna work on me. Uh, it was worth testing out. Scarlet Thrust! She just keeps hitting me so much. I'm using up all my <laughs> items just to survive. <laughs> Keep Scarlet Thrust. Scarlet Myself and my shadow! Scarlet Cyclone! 
I have any more healing? Doubtful. No, I do not. Myself and my shadow. Oh, <laughs> ah, son of a. Yeah, okay. No. We... Blood everywhere. I got further in our fight that time, but I'm still using up all my stuff just to be able to even be even with her. Then you might need to go back and just buy some more stuff, honey. Yeah, I just hate more having, healing items. I just have, hate having to travel all that way. Or are you just gonna have to do some grinding? Well, first things first. Definitely gonna switch over to the knight because the knight was doing a good. He was blocking a good chunk of her stuff. Uh -huh. So having him, so I can have like a. Uh, Having him out so I can have him level up a bit will definitely help. The good night tonight. Really, honey? Yes, really. What a day for a night. What a night for a day. Yeah, good, good point, Sky. Since I'm going to be going back to base, I'm going to see how much I can actually update all my shit. Cause that's all. That's I will tell you right off the bat. That's one of my biggest weaknesses in games like this. I tend to not upgrade things for a long time. I do fault is that. More me doing out of habit than anything else. Hey, we all live and learn. Item. Okay. Okay. Yes, I know you can stand on a horse's back. Are you awesome. sure that's a real cake? Yes, I'm sure it's a real cake. That takes the cake. Oh, I no, got a new soul. No, no, the cake is a lie. Optimizer increases weapon attack speed. Hello. Hello. Uh, Guess what was one of the things that was suggested? That. Bingo! Yeah, no. And that was from that stupid bird. I'm half tempted to grind that bird now just for that soul. Oh, I actually need it for uh, murdering stuff. You know, kill those monsters dead. Cool, I got that. No, Akun, you cannot. You cannot what? Attack consistently if you just hold the weapon. If you hold the attack weapon down. This is me doing that doing that right now. Watcha! Yeah, that might be a special weapon, man. Actually, can I go up from here real fast? Let's see. Directional. Honestly, I think that's probably one of the things I dislike the game about this game the most. Is the fact that look at all these directional abilities I have. And yet the one I'm gonna always want to have equipped is the one that actually gives me movement ability. Cause otherwise it's like 
what's the point of not being able to move about, you know? Alright, there's no way I can get up there just yet. Alright, this is the right way. Gotta kill the kitty cat. No, don't kill the kitty. I kind of don't got the choice. Don't worry. My brain is in the wrong place right now because it interpret that, interpreted that way. Are you all better. just lewd here? Yes. Really? You really need to ask that question. Uh, seriously, not, Prof. No, 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 not to you. Not, uh, seriously, not to you. To be fair, though, I think everyone is. Everyone, like, that I know personally of the group that are, like, into chat and whatnot. So that includes, like, Akun, that includes Toy, that includes Ash. Yeah, 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 we're all loot. Have you and damn new? proud of it. What I've turned up damn, fuck is great. Good work. I got heavy cream. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Blame timing on doing. that one. <laughs> Good lord. Oh. Yep, we're fucked. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could just give us a, give us a few more weeks. Um, dead by daylight and all that. Eat the scrambled eggs while I'm here. So, archives, quests. Memory of Edith, I need a tea dress. So let's go do that real fast, because I'm fairly certain I can make that. Are you eating proper? What are we transmuting this time? Because I want a tea dress. Oh, I can't make it. I need dreadful rags. I can make a knight's cuirass, but I need, but uh, it's honestly kind of meh compared to what I got. Completionist. Oh no, I I, I will eventually want to go and try to complete this game 100%. But what are you thinking of? You're thinking of something creamy like that. I'll see if I can uh, help feed the lady bone. again. Ro okay, Ronan, what is this loft you speak of? Are you eating? So, if, if it's the loft I'm thinking about, that's the spider goddess from uh, D and D. Lolth, yeah. L O L T H. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Patron oh. deity of, of the drow. Yeah. I need to get into a game with you guys, mother. Me too. She's responsible for the creation of driders. A uh, macaroni. Gratin, so I need white sauce. Which for that I need flour. Come back. This is the part I dislike, having to go back and forth just to build shit. You'd think they would have them together in one room or at least what a are you looking to buy? Yeah, thank. But no. Is this a thank you? I think the game also is expecting you to try to get hold deal? as much of like certain items as you can. Is this a thank you? Is this a thank you? Especially for the crafting materials. Mm -hmm. I want that discount card. Good lord. That's actually the one thing I've noticed. I haven't ha found a legitimate way to actually go and grind money in this game. Is this right? Many thanks. Thank you. All right, so I bought two high potions. That should help out a lot.
Hi, Miriam. All right, what so are we first things first, time? let us make the food that she wants. Because she wanted at least, we need one I'll white sauce. Great. We need one pasta. I'll go with this. Great. I believe we can now. Oh, I need two pasta. Nah. Come back any time. Well, now that I've made it, I can buy pasta off her. I have something. <laughs> yeah, I know you have something new to offer to me. Is this for any thanks? Yeah, so you, I can now Is buy pasta off of you. Is this right? Thank you. What are you looking to sell? What do I have that I don't need? Holy crap! I have ten of the dull homes. Damn, dude. What are you looking to sell? You hoarding Thank that you. shit? Well, I don't know what I need and what I don't in this game. Still calling it out for the horde. Hi, Miriam. So, what'll it be? Okay, first things first. Let us make this macaroni. I'll go with yeah, this. Yeah, I think uh, I'm unfortunately gonna have to call it here. Been up since like six thirty this morning. No All worries. Right, have dude. a good you night, dude. Night, man. Great. Take Hi, care, everyone. Peace. So I have that. Alright, so let's see what shards we can hand. We want to focus on the ones we're using for the fight. So we want Welcome Company to be upgraded. I'll go with this. Mm -hmm. Too bad. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Alright, I was able to upgrade it to, like, what was it? Level 6? Level 7. So I have a rank 7 Welcome Company. Which means I've almost completely and totally maxed out that. Mm hmm Now, for your Seeking Arrows... The, um, yeah, Chaser Arrow. Chaser Arrow. I'll HP rounds, this. which I have a bunch of. There you go. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. And now that needs the dreadful rags, which uh, I only got one, so it's not worth it just yet. Optimizer Thunderbird Plume, which I have two of, so I'll go ahead I'll and go with this. Go ahead and upgrade and that. I'll go with this. At the moment, you're probably going to be going on into a farm fest for the time being, anyway. And I need silver to upgrade the Silver Knight, so let's go ahead and I'll upgrade go with him. This. I'll go you with got this. plenty of silver. With this. I can continue upgrading. You need silver and mithril, and I've got a bunch of both. I'll go with oh, this. Oh, good. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. All right, so he's rank seven now. I need Orichalcum to level him up any further. Nice. Yeah, so Silver Knight's what we're gonna stick with for now. Definitely. Right. Is there anything weapon-wise that we can make that's better than what we've got? I can make the home bomby. Actually, I have one, but let's see that. Let's 
a bunch of my 8-bit weapons I can make. Stuff where I just don't have the materials. Come back anytime. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do here: <laughs> give the lady her food, save, and then probably just grind you... for a bit. Probably a good idea. That's it. Oh, it's del uh, I've you're welcome. I got the kukiri. Kukri. K K U K R I. Yeah. Kukri. It's a type of weapon. Yeah, I just got it. Is there anything? Yes, I'll help you. She was craving a classic sweet. If I'm not mistaken, Kukri is a ja is an Egyptian weapon. I suppose. Oh, she's wanting cookies. I think I can build that right now. Also, hang on. I have some. What are you looking to buy? All right, proton gen. Give me. You should actually have that. Because I built it for her, so now you should offer it to me. Where is it? There we go. Is this right? Many thanks. I want the macaroni. Thank you. Inventory. And hey, macaroni. macaroni. Really? Scrumptious. I'm sorry, I gotta one up you. Hey, macadamia. <gasps> Well, I said it because he was talking about macaroni. I know. Are you eating? And then I had to go. To um, I can make animaniacs. I'll go with this. Great. Promise you'll stop. So, what will the cookies give me once I eat them? They give me plus one luck, by the looks of it. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it to uh, Grandma first. Yeah. Ho! Yeah. Ho! Oh, hello. Did you? That's all. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Is there anything? Yes, I'll help. She wants something spicy now and gives me the Berdici or Yeah, Berdici. Berdici. She looks like she wants curry. Can I build curry now? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Buy my rice and curry. Are you eating pro what are we transmuting this time? Let's see. I can make the curry sauce. Curry and rice. Oh, yeah, no, I can actually make the curry for her right now. Let me go ahead it's, and do that. I'll go with and this. it's pronounced Bardiche. Uh. Oh, Bardiche, nice. yes, that's a type of weapon, too. Uh huh, it's a uh, polearm type of weapon that can also yeah. sit, work similarly to an axe. And now you're trying to curry I'll more favor. This. Really, honey? <laughs> Great. Isn't that curry more flavor? I'll go with this. Great. Come back if things. All right, so I'm gonna go eat because I made two curry. I eat one right now. Ooh, and that's Delicious. actually good because that gives me a health buff. No, I just noticed something. Is it just me? Does she have a crystal rose sticking out of her back? Yep, she does. I just noticed that for the first time. Yeah, that's part of her whole being uh, shard bound. Did you? That's it. Oh, it's. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Miriam, you just had some. Is there anything? Yes, I'll help. 
Alright, she wants a novel idea. A dish she wants is wrapped in yellow and tricky to prepare. What? I suppose I'll... She wants an omelette. She wants a fucking cheese omelette. Omelette du fromage? So, the new weapon? A great axe destructive enough to split boulders in twain. Yep, that's a bardiche. Hello! Looky there. That's a slasher, all right. Mm hmm As a matter of fact, uh, nope, not one of the ones we suggested. But are you still eating cool. proper? What are we transmuting this time? All right. <laughs> yeah. So she wants Amoris, which I don't think I can build for her right now. All right, I think that's about it. What we can do—it's it's omurais. Oh, omurais, omuraisu. What? <laughs> the beret of bravery. <laughs> and actually gives me a nice strength buff at the cost of luck. Ouch. Aiken, what is up with you? <laughs> Come back any- Alright. Can, can you ask that question when you fool all- you know all too well the rest of us are messed up just as much? Alright, so I guess the current um, idea is just to grind a bit. Oh, that whole thing with the crows, okay. Let me smash that one. Wait, what? What? The knight just did an ability I wasn't expecting. Did he just make pillars come out of the ground? Yes. Congratulations. Look out! Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll kind of just like go through the castle a bit on foot. Because that should give me a few level ups along the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I learned a new technique. Hmm. Yeah, it's called Transiting Gay. What? You'll, you'll Trucidating gear. Ah. <laughs> See, so... I don't think I can go any further down there. True, true, Aiken. Also, dude, I thought you were going to bed. Mm-hmm. That he might, might go to bed. Be bad. Very strong implication on that might. Gazuntai. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> but, but game. God damn it! I'm never gonna live that one down. All right. <laughs> no. 
For those wondering for the context behind that one, oh, is uh, at one point, Prof became so utterly tired that he started just kind of rambling and but would not go to bed. He wanted to stay up and play a game, and we were telling him, "Dude, you need to go to bed." You know, he was just getting delirious. And at one point, and we tell him, "Like, dude, go to bed." And he's like, "But game." And it's just been a running joke with us ever since. Yeah, Prof, you're you're right. You're never gonna live that down now that I this one. Jesus. <laughs> So whenever any of us get that ridiculously tired and refuse to go to bed, we call it going into butt game mode. I found some more secrets. Woo! Capacity up! Which doesn't mean anything because I don't use guns! Aiken <laughs> says, think of it as your go faster, Pokey. I don't think it's anywhere that bad, guys. I seriously need to hang out with you, you guys a lot more often. Yeah, you do. We are all a crazy bunch of peeps, and all sorts of weird, crazy shit happens when we're together. I would love for something like that, Xavier. Seriously. Xavier says, I think there should be a D&D &D game with as many of us as possible. Try getting us all together at the same time. I was surprised we had many of us tonight on Discord as it was. Mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, the group of Hex was together. And we still need to get all of us together to do more voice acting with Phoenix Wright. Yeah. Oh god, yes. Oh, also, I bet you anything, once I kill Miss Blood Lady, this is where we can come. This is where uh... we can what? This is where we can come here. We can come here and go down here. Prof. Prof. Well, he's just lucky he didn't say that with the white on instead of oh, the blue. Good lord, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, Ashen, but I'm the butt of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the reasons I love making puns around him because he can be a little slow on the uptake sometimes, and when it actually hits him, his reaction's even better. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. If something smells it, probably butts. There we go. I'm getting my knight leveled up a little bit. Woo! Rock that knight! And like I said, right now I'm just kind of going through everything just so I can grind up a little. Definitely having the stronger weapon is going to help, I think. Oh yeah! Hmm. I remember, why couldn't we get down here? I'm gonna check there.
This is the area that you got the Shovel Knight character. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fun little add-in they did. I just kind of wish it was more like a traditional, like, summon like the knight is. Because I would love to have Shovel Knight just walking around with me and fighting alongside me. I love the fact that you could actually get his shovel to speaking of which Shovel Knight La da da ya La da da ya ya da da I miss parental floss. He has a radio show now. Yeah, he just hasn't updated in forever in a day. Mm. That's why I couldn't get further here. And I'm sorry, I think Brittle Floss and um Dr. Mario. I am Dr. Mario and I am saving lives. Arise myself and my shadow! Mm. I am the this game. <laughs> I am Dr. Mario and I am saving lives. Yeah, that is another one of my favorite ones of his as well. <laughs> of course, there, there was also the memorable Super Mario Bros. 2 Toad is Gay. That one I have not seen. Oh! And I can't go down if my memory serves me correctly because that's just the water area, and I don't have the ability to go underwater yet. So let's just go ahead and head back, I guess. I will check it later. Like I said, the one good thing about going through this, like just through your, my feet, just walking around like this, is it has been leveling up the Silver Knight, so. And he needed that. Jacob is laughing and I don't like it. He's probably watching the video he linked to me. Yes, yes they did. It still gives me giggles. That's a good sign. It's just a short little ditty, but it still gives me the giggles. I got another bat summon. And another! And another? I wish. Yeah. Actually, what level is my bats now? Shards. Summoning bat is rank 4, grade 4. Yeah, because rank actually is what makes it have like increased duration and in, um what I will like happen to it in terms of like abilities. Great is actually its power. That's how many like souls of that type I have. Arise myself and my shadow Sky, I have uh, sent you the link via private message in Twitch. Enjoy. Yeah. 
Jeez, am I going the right ways? <laughs> I have no idea if I'm going the right way. The answer is no, I am not. But it does mean you can kill this guy again. Mm, true, he gives me lion names. Myself and my shadow. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Hello, puppers. Oh, this thing. Thank you. 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 Yeah, that's my roommate. Wow, I remember when these enemies were giving me trouble before. Now they're one hit kills. That's a, not always, but getting close. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go walk up there. Just so I can get more loot and stuff. <laughs> so, how y'all doing? Well, I'm fine. Y'all enjoying your sales? Of course. Yeah. Why Land. wouldn't we be? I'm just kind of curious, honey. Yeah. Arise, myself and my shadow. Yeah. Yay, chicken stew. Chicken stew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One good thing about this is that a lot of the chests re respawn as you go through the area. I still don't know what this is supposed to be. Hmm. Oh, there's an eye that's following you. Oh, that that big eye thing? Yeah. I still have a feeling that's going to be like a boss or something at some point. Petra-ray! There we go. <laughs> it could be, Sky. I wouldn't know, I've never actually played Resident Evil 2. I'm, I'm not sure- I'm not sure how that would be an homage to RE2. Yes, I know you're talking about the painting, but I don't see how that would be an homage to RE2 spe specifically. By the way, Sky, I'm fucking jealous of doing that still. So how's that night working out for I you suppose so far? It, I suppose it kind of gives off the feel. Kind of looks like the face is kind of half 
half zombified type of look thing to it, but I don't know. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare. Wait, what? It's a Wesker clip. <laughs> Kill the Simians. Alright. Is it that time? I'm gonna get to the save point over by the boss. I'm gonna give her another shot. How many levels have you gone up? I've gone up like at least three levels, and the knight's gone up quite a few more. Yeah, because my knight was level 10 before I started all this, and since uh, equipping him, he's gone up to level 14. Good. Oh, well, here's helping. Plus, you know, the upgrades we've uh, that uh, profs put into him will definitely help. I also have m more healing potions this time. Good. Put! Oh, Sky, speaking of that RE, what do you think of Project Resistance? I know nothing about it. I know, the trailer just dropped like less than 24 hours ago. And I should uh, say, the name of the game is spelled in white with the RE and Resistance. You also gotta remember, dude, I am not a Resident Evil fan. I am. <laughs> And I'm not familiar with this Project Resistance thing you're talking about. Okay, give me a minute. This one will be in general. Love that it appears that Whiskers trying to kill a bunch of horror movie teens. Are you talking about this new resistance thing? Pretty much. Is it a it's, movie? It's a teaser. And it's a, going to be a game. Right now it's speculated that it's gonna be somewhat similar to Dead by Daylight, where one person will control the bad guy element. The one that will try to kill off the other characters. Oh while the other four I didn't know I could do that. The fuck just happened? I knocked down the bell and it crashed. And now the bell looks like it's permanent, permanently downstairs. Hmm. Uh, it gives me but, a uh, shortcut here. The other four characters are, for the most part, um, trying to survive. Now that begs the question, can you knock that one down? That's what I'm trying to do. Doesn't look like it. How did you knock the other one down? I think it's because that one actually had like a blockade here. Because it's like I could go I couldn't go through this area before, but I could go onto the other side. Now it's hmm. clear. Hmm. Yes and no, Akun, because from what, what it seems like, Arise, the enemy element shadow. doesn't yeah. just go out to fight the four or try to hunt them down. They actually have control of the building that they're in and releasing uh, bombs, okay, as uh, what appears in the trailer or teaser. And uh, the survivors can fight back instead of just try to hide and get a win condition. You might want to use the. There you go, honey. <laughs> Sky. 
his night traps look good. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, let's try this once more with Phelan. Any requests as far as color on her dress? Not really. Green. I think we've tried them all already, haven't we? Yeah, we've tried them all. Green. Oh, well, we might as well go with green, because Jacob wants the green. Pumice. Chrome, really? Nope, we're going with the Gak. Yeah! Alright, once more with feeling, here we go. I need more blood. Oh god, painted with all the colors of the wind. Blood steel. Now, what kind of weapon was she weak to? Slash Scarlet weapons? Hold on, is I'm the, still on the page. Is the Burdish a slash weapon? I believe so. Slash, thrust, and yes. light. Scarlet thrust. Inventory. Let's use a high potion. Cut! Scarlet Psycho. Scarlet Dust. Yeah. Yeah. Scarlet Psycho. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That ain't no Scarlet oh. Psycho. Yeah. Scarlet Thrust. Doing good, honey. Yeah. yeah, the problem is that she keeps uh bumping into it. Scarlet thrust. Scarlet second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got her in the face too again. Under an umbrella. Oh, is that was that supposed to be for? Yeah. Once if it's if she starts throwing shit from the ceiling, you get under an umbrella quick. I did it! Woohoo! No! Blood steal. Absorb blood from nearby his enemies to restore your health. Hell's bells. That was a stupid fight. Go save. Yeah, you think? Oh wow. Blood 
Oh, that's neat! Look at that! So that's what I can do now. Hmm. Blood of fallen enemies will heal me. Mm hmm. You have essentially become a vampire. Blood steel. Not bad. Not bad at all. And yeah, I agree, Aku. She does seem like a type of boss who should dodge through you and not really do contact damage. But that was really what was killing Prof so much. Yeah, it's like I was trying to dodge best I can, but... She kept dodging into you. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Well, sad we can't see her cutscene anymore. We've seen it enough times. Yes. In every color. Yes. Oops, I got I the red that. umbrella. So I can go completely in being her. There it is. And you did have the harp. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> the umbrella changes color with whatever the blood is. Mm hmm. Also, I had what harp now? You did have the harp, one of the suggested weapons. Where? It's right above the red umbrella. Oh, okay. I was thinking like a legit harp. No, it's a harp, or harpy, or whatever it's... Yeah. <laughs> I bet you it's a harpe. Harpe. Okay. Because uh, the ease has the oh, tilt, hey. tilt and whatnot. I'm back here now. Because <laughs> the bicycle chain loads. So now nice I'm back here. Oh, dude. Now that you do have that ability, you can absorb all that blood from that fountain. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm wanting to go over there next. That's my. That's like my next goal. Silent. Are you oh gonna change God, the color first, or you're just gonna leave it green? Yeah, I'm gonna change it to white, just because. <laughs> I believe. Yes. Okay, I'm yes, going David. right to... We, wow, the teleporter we, we is are, way out of the way. Yes, AK. Harpymon. Remind me after this to go and buy, like, a button of the, uh... of a thing that can teleport me back to base. Prof, when you have a chance... God damn it, I didn't mean right now! You should know better with me. Hells, pals, man. And he did it, not me. <laughs> oh, you do it too? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, that is a killer room. Even Sky's like, hey, don't forget to buy something to teleport you back home. <laughs> Bro, your friends are yeah. us. Yes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I did say we talked about more about uh, Steven Universe once he got through the boss fight. Oh! I like the movie. I like the direction Blood and steel! frame skip. Okay. I like the fact that even with the time skip, there is still shit that's going to come to Steven's doorstep because his mom, pardon my language, is a total bitch. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there for two reasons. One, I know for a fact that Sky, despite being a fan of Steven Universe, hasn't seen the movie. That's for one. So I don't want to spoil any more than it's already been spoiled for, for them because freaking Stay got spoiled, spoiled for them. Oh, well, shit. That's for one. But the second reason I want to stop you right there is because let's actually have a serious talk about freaking uh, uh, Rose Quartz. Um, here, I'm not using her other name just in case other people haven't seen that part either. Ooh, I just used an ability a complete accident. Um, if we're going to have that kind of discussion, prof. Let's do it off stream. Just, we'd have, yeah, it would probably be uh, a good point. Actually, I think we would have to use that spoiler. <laughs> Good point, uh... Hmm... And also, if anybody has not caught up with the current season, shame on you. Oh. Hey, people have lives! Yeah, I there have a go. life too, and I got caught up. I'm the one who's constantly busy with stuff. Honestly, Finally, that there's the teleporter. Yeah. Honestly, actually, that begs the question. Of the people here, how far have we seen... How, how far have you all seen with Steven Universe? Because for the move, You're all caught up? You just haven't seen the movie, Sky, right? Alright, in that case, I, we can talk about this without spoiling anything. At least not too heavily. Okay, so, uh, first off... First off, let's just get the major thing out of the way. We all know the fact that Rose is uh, pink tiger, yeah? Mm-hmm. But here's my thing, how, it's like, everyone lately, when it comes to talking about Rose, aka Pink, they're always talking about, oh, hey, she was such a bitch, or, hey, you know, it's like she was really the true villain of all, everything. It's like, y'all are missing the damn point when it comes to frickin' Pink Diamond. You wanna know what my point is? She's a child. Mm-hmm. Compared to the other diamonds, she was a child and was basically treated as such. Mm -hmm. And when she finally got her own colony to maintain, it was a big deal for her. And then she finally got exposed to actually what was going on. And in her view, it was wrong and she wanted to stop it. Yeah, no, a lot of people... Ex that's my, exactly my point. A lot of people go on about Pink about the fact that she did all these wrong things and whatnot. And it's like... Yeah, but in terms of actuality, when it comes to her character, Pink Diamond is very much a child. She is very much a little kid learning about the world. Or the universe, actually. Yeah, yeah the universe. And her whole thing is, it's like, you know, uh, it's like, take her instance of, you know, going against the other diamonds. She did that because when she tried to talk to them, they treated her like what she is, a kid, and they wouldn't listen to her. So instead of trying to find another way that would go about things peacefully, she decided to go, oh yeah, I am just going to go and actually fight against them, pretend to be the actual villain. Then you also have other things that she has done in the past. It's like you've seen her, how she w reacted in Steven's dream when she, when uh, Stevani was on that one planet. She was acting like a kid, punching a mirror because she wasn't getting her way. Any of the bad things people can lay at Pink Diamond's feet can be explained the fact that she is, at best, a child just trying to understand and get through what she wants to get through. Even though uh, they're all centuries old uh, beings, they still can. They treated her like a child pretty much the whole time she existed. Though I can definitely completely understand that, it's still oh wait, kind here of we a go. Rule move 
to leave Steven with all that and not at wow. liberty to give some form of closure to Steven and the Crystal Gems. Okay, here's a quick question. What closure is she going to be able to give when she is giving up her physical form to have make sure Steven has life? It's not exactly yeah. like she can go back to every single thing she has ever wrong and say, Hey, sorry, I've done this. Can you not go and attack my peeps? No, I'm more like talking talking about leaving something to prepare Steven for. But again, that could be still chalked up to her being a child and having probably forgotten about most of it. I don't know. I... I... <laughs> Dude, this is a little bit about me and my own personal experiences, but you'll have to remember. Back when I was four years old, my parents divorced. During my childhood, it was a little difficult for me to kind of get through between my parents and the step parents that I had when they remarried. And though I no longer have that issue today, yeah, I can somewhat uh, understand and sympathize with Steven. When he says, actually, yeah, I can't believe it. Uh, I'm not the thing, the thing about Steven Universe, though, is that it explores all, you know, to coin a phrase, considering that they are gems, all facets of the situation. <laughs> it, is basic, it is basically exploring how everybody feels regarding what happened, their own point of view, and trying to find a means of consolidating everybody's feelings into a peaceful resolution. You know, Prof, I'm now starting to wish you could choose white. Why is that? I just realized what you did at the fountain. Ha! Really? Just now? Just, just now? Whoa! Ugly fish! Yeah. <laughs> and I can't do anything against the fish just yet because I'm still... don't have the underwater ability. You couldn't cross the rest of the way, the, the expanse? No. Uh, it's just gonna lead me back to the front of the game. Anyway... Oh, there's a way down. Like I said, it's like, I get it. A lot of what Rose slash Pink Diamond did, it was stupid, and it has come back to bite the gems and Steven in the ass multiple times, no matter what way you look at it. I am not denying that. My point is, is the fact of the matter is that she is, for all intents and purposes, a child. She is, for all intents and purposes, still learning on how to make her own way and try to do right by the world. And in her case, what she did right by was not very much. A matter of fact, I would say probably the first and best decision she has made, as far as a scene of her character and what we've been exposed to through five seasons in a movie, was give up her form to Steven. That's about the best that she has done. It was her chance to really create a new life because gems really can't do that. Yep. Keep <laughs> going down, honey. I know, I just wanted to kill this guy. He is trying to slay the beast. Blood he is slaying the beast. You might now make it. Oh, <sighs> that guy in particular. I'm sorry, I just kind of love the fact that freaking, uh... My umbrella changes colors with the blood. Oh, shit, mm -hmm. it's after midnight. I gotta get to bed. If you need All to right. go, dude, just go ahead and go. I'm. I got it because I still gotta be up at six, seven o'clock in the morning for work. Yeah, All no. right, you have a good night and sleep well, dude. Yeah, don't worry too much about it, dude. We're gonna be ending the stream around midnight our time anyway because I've got early shift tomorrow morning as well. Yeah, wait for you. That's still like what an hour and forty-five minutes. Yeah. 
about that. Anyways, go get some sleep, dude. I'll catch Charlie. Night night. Here, man. You died. Mahogany. Ooh, rose wing. Well, I need to go back to the bar where I got new hairstyles. Mm. Oh, that would help me probably and be equipment. Rosewing increases the amount of magic restored by mana roses. Okay. Not bad, but I don't need it right now. I know that mahogany is used for one of the uh, upgrades, Zakun. Ha <laughs> ha Ooh, critical ring. Which does not appear in my inventory? What? Oh, there it is. Oh, I had one before. Mm. So I now have two. Increases the chance of critical hits. You're having a lot of fun with that umbrella, aren't you? Just a bit. Oh, there's Shovel Knight again. Oh! So apparently I have that blood ability that she had with this umbrella. Oh, uh, Scarlet uh, Tornado or whatever it is? Something like that. Cyclone, excuse me. Yeah. So basically, it's the Hadouken in terms of it, what I can do. Hadouken. Definitely an interesting area. Yeah, I'm just kind of going around at this point. I like some pound cake. What they come? I'm back here now. So that door is open. Achievement unlock. Make a wish. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's probably explore the deepest parts of the well. Despite the fact that I haven't. Stop throwing things into the well! Wonder where you're supposed to get the ability to swim. 
Probably from another boss. Underwater horse! Aqua Stream allows you to swim by launching water in a designated direction. MP is not consumed underwater. Oh wait, can I actually swim underwater now? Is that Just... probably what probably what you needed, huh? Maybe. Let's find out. Yep. Cause look at this shit. Ah! There's no uh, breath meter or anything, is there? No. And while it's not perfect for traveling underwater, it's all I. It's the best way I can do it right now. Mm-hmm. Maybe something you get down here gives you a better way to do it. Possibly. Oof. I love the fact they're basically traveling by using a jet stream. Pretty much. Scrumptious. It's like strapping an egg a fire extinguisher to yourself. Oh, you know what it reminds me of when those guys who actually go on the water and they use those water jets to levitate above the water. Yeah. Oh. Problem is, I can't oh. go in. Yeah, I can. That's what I was thinking. I kind of need that. Ah, damn it, I died. Because you can't actually access the, um,. The chests or anything until then, huh? Yeah, I need the actual tr true proper ability to get underwater. And you didn't save after you got that shard either. Yeah, I know. That's you have to do it all over again. Yeah. Did I not go this way over here? Apparently not. Is that an eyeball? Yeah. Yeah, it's called the Seeker and it's stoning me. Oh, so it's like turning you to stone. Yeah, it's starting to really hurt. Got the water leaper. Okay, so as much as I'm enjoying the red umbrella, I need... I'm going back to this guy. The Bardish? Yeah. That eyeball is go traveling across the ceiling? Yep. Arise, myself and my shadow. Hmm. Arise, myself and my shadow. I am 
almost dead again. Arise, Do you not have any healing items? Not from the against the boss, honey. Well, that would be a good time for you to go back and get also some more teleporting items. It'd help if I didn't die. Ugh. Did you? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Why do you think I just said that? <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. What's the nearest teleporter? The nearest teleporter is way out of the way. Xavier says, Prof, you need to spend some time just grinding the fuck for items. Yeah, probably. The problem is, I just don't want to do just a stream where I'm just grinding, you know? Not only, not only do I think that's against the Twitch terms of service, but also I think it might be boring for you guys. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow night. You know, just play the game a bit off air and mostly do it to work and grind out items and whatnot. I thought my summon rat was a lot higher than that. guys that were giving me the thing before. So I'm gonna farm them a little bit. Arise, myself and my what shadow. thing in particular? These fish monsters. Ah. Get it? Nah. My knight's being a bit more Arise, aggressive though, which is exactly what I'm wanting. I really wish my, my portraits actually stayed longer. Because once I leave a room, they go away. Not even the right enemy. <laughs> Good lord. Oh well. Do you want in? Oh, what? 
Do you want to or what? Make your make up your mind. Yeah! Winston's pawing him a blanket like he wants under, but I want to lift it up for him to get under. He doesn't do it. Ba -iska! Ba -iska! Ba -iska! I think for now I'll just go back to where I was and hopefully I'll find a teleporter down there and make things faster. You know, I remember when you got that thing, you were fighting some kind of horse creature. I'm wondering if that was the one that gave it to you. Oh, you mean the underwater horse? Yeah. It could be. Which I... would not make any bloody sense, but you never know. Some things in the world just make no sense, sweetie. I'm going to try going this way again, see if I can't play a little bit safer. Let's actually get back my uh, company. Arise, myself and my shadow! Arise, myself and my shadow! Well, I got the frickin', uh, water frogs back. Under. Arise, okay, and I seriously need a way to travel underwater. I think I just got it again. Yep. I would recommend saving. Yeah, I'm going back to the save point, hon. Don't worry. Oh, hey! Look at what hmm. I found! What? Teleportal! Alright, I'm back at base. Yay, save! Really, Xavier? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Otherwise known as Upskirt Portal. <laughs> He's not uh, wrong. What are we transmuting this time? Uh -huh. Oh my butt. What's that new one I just got? That was the Aqua Stream, right? Yes, it was. I need Aquatic Blood to upgrade that. And what is that? Got? You get that from? No, I, no idea.
come back if Okay, so first things first. I have something new to offer you. What are you looking to buy? What do you have new? Or is it the cookies? Which this I don't think I've eaten you. yet. Okay, first things first, we want to go... What is it under? We want to buy... Like, ten waystones. Okay. Right? Game only got them when we do nine, but I'll take it. Thank you. So now I can teleport it back here whenever. Alright, so let's save. And let's go back underwater so we can explore it a bit more. Yay! Akun, most enemy drops in this game are sold by uh, female Proton Janas, like we've been calling her, once you've collected them at least once. So it's forbid Forbidden Underground Waterway. Oh my god, I just got the soul of the underwater horse. Increase underwater movement speed. Okay then. Mimi, the bang! <laughs> oh, I actually need those demons. Slimy leather. <laughs> Underwater horse hoof. <laughs> and yeah, so the game is expecting you at this point. Hey, hang on. Yes? Nine. So yeah, it looks like at this point the game is fully expecting you to to have the uh, underwater ability. So basically, what I'm doing here is kind of I I, I should not be doing what I'm doing, essentially. Why? It seems like that's what it was designed for. It is, but it's not. Yes. I know. Well, this is something we've been doing for weeks. Ah, hell's bells. Mm. It's like, it's something we've been doing for weeks. It's something you know what we do. Like, no. She complained it gets too late or something. Oh no, she was like, she was going and reminding me I had to set my alarm. It's like, yeah, no crap. I know I gotta set my alarm. That's kind of the whole point. It's like, Demon Eye. Detective's Eye. Make secret walls visible to the eye. That's what Ooh. I'm wanting. Very nice. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. So, shards. Oh, amphibian speed. Gradually recover HP underwater. Hmm. 
That's really good. <laughs> I think I found a mistake. Detective Eye, auto collects items in range. It says rank 9. Hmm. So I'm guessing that means that's what it gets once you hit rank 9 for that ability. Mm. Oh, that's neat! Can't go any further down there. Really, Winston? Get your butt out of my face. Thank you. I'm sure I have my gift. There you go. I now have two puppers laying in here with me under my blanket. Nice. since I died last time. Actually, you know what I should probably start doing? Hmm. Probably start using my shortcuts a little bit more often, shouldn't I? Probably. Actually... Can the shortcuts only edit your weapon? Don't know. I'm gonna chest that. Arise, myself and my shadow. Okay, no, it can change your abilities too. So let us go with this. Uh, yeah, probably does. Hmm. 
Aiken's like saying changing on the fly easier. Uh, where is the thing? Flicked her way. I want that. There we go. That's what I want as my current. I want to edit Conjure here. Do I have that? Yeah. I conjure here. Edit this so I can have my water thing. Where's my water one? stream and switch that to amphibian speed switch that to cerulean splash there we go so now when I want to I can go back and forth switch to there Ah, so that's how it shows. Well, that shows, so it shows breakable. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I just got the demon soul. Word of Wisdom reduces MP consumption. Not bad. Now, are some of these passive? Yeah. Because it would suck if you actually had to equip it in order for it to actually not Yeah, no. Yeah, those... You, you do have to equip it to get it activated, its spell activated. However, from what I remember hearing, I think it was from Sky or someone else. Once you get maximum rank of those uh, things, they become permanently passive on your character. I wish she said something different when she summoned the fucking portraits. Another word of wisdom. Hey, and a save point. Yay. Okay, I gotta stop playing with the frickin' uh, control stick and just stick with the D-pad. <coughs>
capacity upgrade. Again, not something I'm really using because I don't use guns, but whatever. Huh. What yet? Hmm? Huh. Akron's like, you don't use them yet. It's like, what yet? Yeah. I haven't used them at all because they're not really that useful when you have limited ammo. Wow, I am getting so many words of wisdom. That's my third one. Yeah, so it's rank, it's maximum rank or maximum grade they become permanent, I want to say. Mm. But I don't think that's going to be happening for anything for a while. I love how my frickin' knight here is just killing bats, not even intentionally here. They're just kinda like, off on their own, and then they kinda just die. Kinda just fly into it, you mean? Yeah. You're not. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing it like this. Honestly, I think I'm cheesing the ever living hell out of this game right now. Possibly. I stop running into that crap. Yeah, nah, I'm just not supposed to be here. Yeah. Luckily, I just saved. But I don't know about you, but I am honestly getting a little tired tonight. Getting ready to call it back again now, honey? I think I should. I think we're, uh, we should probably call it a night, especially since we've also been steadily losing th folks throughout the night as well. We're down to like four people right now, so I think we should just call it. Okay. Uh, you made some decent progress tonight, honey. Hey, yeah, we killed the blood lady. I'm happy with that. But yeah, and I also want to spend time with y'all without having to stream tonight as well. So. Mm -hmm. and I got maybe about an hour-ish left for that, so... So yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it a night, folks. Uh, we'll stream for a little bit longer, probably on a Thursday, where most people are able to hang around. Mm -hmm. Might do more Bloodstained, although I'm not certain. I might want to try a new game or see, maybe uh, Katie can convince me to come back to Stardew for a bit, we'll see.
<laughs> but until then, folks, we're going to just go ahead and call it night. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time, okay? Have a good night, everybody. Sleep tight.